be approved. And I, I clearly, I think uh, we think um, the important point about a drug approval is that the proposed treatment has to have some clinical benefit, something that is measurable, something that matters to people. Again, it could be in people who are otherwise normal. Uh, but nonetheless, it would have to have some clinical utility. It isn't just that we can any drug that has any effect whatsoever on, on something on the body would be approved, even though I suppose a strict reading of the law might suggest that that, that would be legal. Clearly, um, there's clinical judgment involved as to what sorts of treatments uh, could be approved. Um, on the next slide... Uh, there are the possibility, of course, as I said, that we could uh, develop a treatment or someone could develop a treatment and we could approve it for people who are entirely uh, normal. And uh, there aren't that many uh, examples that I'm aware of. There may be some. Uh, um, one could, I suppose, suggest that the oral contraceptives are a, are a drug that is intended to treat a perfectly normal um, function. And maybe that's one example. Um, although, as I say, in our area, we haven't seen this really, although I'll just, I think I have one more slide and it's on a subject that others have already mentioned. Uh, the, the point about this, I want to go back to the other slide if I can. Thanks. Um, uh, no, the... Sorry, this one. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's one. Yeah. Um, as has been mentioned already, uh, I think uh, by Hank Reilly, when we are contemplating approving a treatment, uh, let's say, uh, to treat otherwise normal folks to enhance their treatment, enhance their um, particular function, 